Okay, so hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the designing of uh, a stable multi vibrator, both uh, asymmetric and symmetric uh, stable multi vibrator. Asymmetric multi vibrator, uh, a circuit where uh, the on time and off time are naturally not equal. So, on time can be more than off time, or off time can be more than on time. That is called asymmetric. In a symmetric multi vibrator, we are designing for 50% duty cycle as mentioned over here. With the uh, on period is equal to off period, that is T equal to T on plus T off, the on period and off period is 1 millisecond, so that means 50 percent, uh, 0.5 each. So, we are going to design both the circuits. So, this is uh, for uh, asymmetric multi vibrator, where uh, what we have selected over here is the duty cycle equal to 60 percent, and I want to design a pre running oscillator. A, a stable multi vibrator is called pre running oscillator also with a frequency of 1 kilohertz. So, this, this is the designing uh, procedure. So, T equal to 1 millisecond, duty cycle is equal to 0.6 and uh, these are the formulas used uh, T on and T off, that is T on is equal to 0.693 RA plus RB into C and T off equal to 0.693 RB into C, RA and RB means these two resistors, capacitor is this one. Uh, in this case, just substitute, assuming that capacitor is equal to 0.1 uh, microfarad, just substitute in this formula and find out uh, uh, RB first, uh, capacitor is 0.1 microfarad, this capacitor is 0.1 microfarad substitute, find out RB, then go back to this formula and substitute uh, here and where RA is the only unknown parameter which you can find out and uh, we will get the answer. So, find out the RA and RB by using uh, these formulas and substitute in this form, in this uh, circuit. Now, it is a stable multi vibrator, it is called a stable multi vibrator because it has got no stable state, that means it is free, free, freely, it will move between on and off period, that is 1 and 0 continuously. So, this is the expected uh, waveform with on period more than off period because we are designing for 60 percent over here. This is uh, the waveform we get across the capacitor, the charging and discharging of the capacitor. So, it uh, changes between uh, 2 3rd VCC and uh, 1 3rd VCC uh, always. The lower end is 1 3rd VCC and the uh, upper end is 2 3rd uh, VCC. This is a, a stable multi vibrator, uh, asymmetric a stable multi vibrator. To design a symmetrical uh, a stable multi vibrator, this is the diagram, some modification we need to actually do where uh, in this case, the RA is equal to RB because the formula for calculating both on period and off period is same. So, as long as this is same and we are assuming capacitor value equal to 0.1, RA will be equal to RB, RA is equal to RB. So, we substitute those values and the difference is here, we are connect one diode across the resistor RB because that actually provides the discharging path to pin number 7, that is discharge pin. Now, in this case, as you can see over here, it is almost the same, on period is actually equal to the off period. So, this is the designing of a stable multi vibrator, both symmetric and asymmetric. Now, let us go to lab and uh, do the experiment. Okay, so welcome to lab. Uh, we have already rigged up a circuit for a stable multi vibrator. So, as you know, a stable multi vibrator does not have any stable state. So, it uh, toggles between 0 and 1 continuously. No stable state, so it is a free running oscillator. So, in this circuit, I have used op amp, uh, some resistors, capacitors, and all I have used. And supply given is around uh, 5 volt as you can see over here and uh, from output pin number 3 it is connected to the uh, CRO just look at the CRO so we have connected uh, two channels we have taken uh, two channels here one for pin number 3 that is output and the other one is across the across the capacitor that is charging and discharging so as you can see here we are getting a rectangular type of waveform and uh, if you measure the on period and off period of this particular signal this particular signal, the on period, what we have designed is 0.6 percent, uh, 0.6 uh, millisecond and the off period is 0.4 seconds. So, when I observe this, uh, the time duration, so the time duration is around uh, uh, 0.8 multiplied by 0.5, it's around 0.45 I can say the practical value, it's closely matching with my theoretical value and uh, the off period is around uh, 0.3 roughly. So, it is almost matching with my uh, designed uh, values and if I observe only the uh, charging and discharging of capacitor, just look at this, keep it in the uh, DC condition, this one DC condition. So, when I, this is the, sorry, uh, this is the reference line, this is the reference line, as you can see, this is the reference line, I will keep it here, this is the reference line and uh, this is a DC condition, what, are, what we have said. Now, I release this ground, uh, it shifted in the top direction. So, that means, uh, if I observe the voltage, the positive, this voltage and this voltage, this will be 2 3rd VCC, this will be 1 3rd VCC. My VCC is 5 volt, 1 3rd of that and 2 3rd of that, that's what I'll get here. So, this is uh, basically a, a stable multi vibrator and in my case, in this case, uh, 
it is asymmetrical a stable multivibrator because on period is larger than the off period that is 60 percent duty cycle okay so this is a uh, second part of the experiment that is a symmetrical uh, uh, a stable multivibrator it is called symmetrical because uh, the duty cycle is 50 percent that is on period should be equal to the off period so what we have included over here is some uh, one diode and uh, the resistor values are as per the design so that's what we have uh, put now just see the uh, output the output uh, here, the on period is equal to almost equal to the off period. Just a small variation that is fine, but the on period is equal to the off period around 0.4 and 0.4. That's what I'm getting here. So, this is a 50% symmetrical, uh, stable multi vibrator. 